Hello everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 6.5, we're going to continue to work on addition. And in this lesson, we're going to regroup ones and tens in a three-digit addition uh, with three-digit uh, addition problems. All right. So in the following, listen and draw, use mental math and write the sum for each problem. All right. So what I want you to do is Try to complete these problems actually as kind of as quickly as you can, all right? Because basically, these are problems that we should be able to do in our head mentally and quickly because we're basically just dealing with math facts. So go ahead and pause the video and see how um, quickly you can complete this page, okay? All right, how did you do? Okay, so... 40 and two more tens is 60. Four tens plus two tens is six tens, which is 60. 200 plus 700, 700 and two more is 900. 70 and three more tens gives us seven and three tens is 10 tens or 100. 500 and 300, 800. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 400, 600, 700. 50, 90, 100. 600 and 300, 900. Okay. All right. So that our warm up kind of the day was just more of a review. Okay. Reviewing math facts and adding hundreds and tens. Okay. So let's look at page 298. Okay, so in the last lesson at the end, I told you that sometimes we'll regroup more than once in an addition problem. Sometimes we have to regroup the ones and the tens when we have three digit numbers. So let's look at this 259 plus 476. Well, when we add the ones, we get 15 ones, right? Which we need to rewrite as 110 and five ones. So that would be step one, right? adding the ones and regrouping if needed. Now we'd go to the tens and we have seven tens, five tens, and the regroup ten. So we have twelve thirteen tens, which is rewritten as one hundred and three tens. So again we have to regroup in the tens as well. Now we go to the hundreds and we have four hundred plus two hundred plus one hundred, seven hundred. And we don't have to regroup in the hundreds. Okay, so the the concept is the same. Ten or more in each place value, we're going to have to regroup to the next greater place value. All right, so let's practice. Number one, nine and four. Well, that's 13 ones, right? So we'll regroup that as one ten and three ones. Go to the tens. Eight and two we know is ten. So ten tens plus the regroup ten is eleven tens. We're going to have to regroup that as 100 and, and 110. In the hundreds, we have three, four, five hundreds. We don't have to regroup. Okay. Number two, eight and six ones is 14 ones. We're going to regroup that as 110 and four ones. Go to the tens. Seven and four we know is 11. 11 and 110 is 12 tens. We need to regroup that as 100 and two tens. Okay, now the hundreds, 500, 700, 800. We don't have to regroup the hundreds. Number three, seven and three ones is 10 ones. Trade that for 110 and zero ones. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so eight tens. We don't have to regroup. Three and three hundreds, six hundred. Okay, number four. So we have four hundred, uh, four ones and two ones. That's just six ones. Five tens and three tens, eight tens. Two hundred and one hundred, three hundred. Okay, so this one we didn't have to regroup at all. Okay. Number five. Five and two is seven. Don't have to regroup the ones. But seven and seven tens is 14 tens. We will regroup as 100 and four tens. 
And in the hundreds, we have five, six, hundred. Okay, number six, we have nine ones and three ones. We have to regroup. That's 12 ones. Regroup as one ten and two ones. Eight and two is ten tens plus the regroup ten, eleven tens. Regroup that as one hundred and one ten. Six, seven plus the regrouped hundred, eight hundred. We don't have to regroup the hundreds. Okay. And 299. Okay, this is the last page of this lesson. Page 300 is our mid chapter review. Write the sum. Four and one, that's five ones. No regrouping. Eight and seven. Well, seven and seven is 14. So plus one more is 15. 15 tens, we have to regroup as 100 and five tens. Five, seven, eight. 855. Six ones and three ones is nine ones. Eight tens and one ten, nine tens. So, so far we haven't had to regroup, right? 400 plus 400 is 800. Again, no regrouping in number eight. Okay. Number nine, seven ones and six ones is 13 ones. We're going to regroup that as one ten and three ones. Nine plus one more is ten. Ten plus four is fourteen tens. Well, fourteen tens we have to regroup as one hundred and four ones. Okay, fourteen tens is a hundred and forty. So one hundred and four tens here. All right, hundreds, five tens, five hundred, three hundred is eight hundred, plus the regrouped hundred, nine hundred. We don't have to regroup the hundreds. Number 10. Five and three ones is eight ones. Don't have to regroup the ones. Eight tens plus six tens is 14 tens. Well, we know 14 tens is 140. So we're going to regroup that as 104 tens. Add the hundreds. Three and two more hundreds is 500. Plus the regrouped hundred, 600. We don't have to regroup the hundreds. Nine and seven ones is 16 ones. Regroup that as one ten and six ones. Four tens and one ten is five tens. We don't have to regroup the tens. 600 plus 100, 700. We won't have to regroup the hundreds. Number 12. Six ones plus six ones is 12 ones. Regroup as one ten and two ones. Five tens plus five tens is ten tens. Ten tens is a hundred. So trade the ten tens for one hundred and zero tens. And the hundreds. Five hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred. Nine hundred and two. So not hundreds we don't have to regroup. Thirteen. Eight and one one is nine ones. We don't have to regroup. Four tens and three tens, seven tens. Don't have to regroup. Six hundred and three hundred, nine hundred. So again, this problem, we didn't have to regroup. So no regrouping in that problem. Okay, that's why we don't see any regrouped marks up here. Or numbers, regrouped numbers. Nine and five, fourteen ones. That we're going to have to regroup. As one ten and four ones. Move to the tens. Five and one is six, plus three more is nine tens. Don't have to regroup the tens. Hundreds, four hundred and one hundred is five hundred. We don't have to regroup, regroup the hundreds. Number fifteen. Five and three ones is eight ones. We don't have to regroup. Six tens plus four tens is ten tens. Regroup that as one hundred and zero tens. Add the hundreds. 500 plus 200 is 700 plus one more is 800. Okay, finally, number 16. Miko wrote these problems. What are the missing digits? So what would you have to add to 6 to get a number that ends in 0? Wouldn't that be 4? Yeah, I, I think it's 4. And so this would mean we would have had to regroup, right? Ten ones, we regroup as one ten and zero ones. But now look, five plus one, 
sorry. I was thinking that was our regroup number. This is a missing number for this problem. All right, so 5 plus the regroup 10 is 6 tens. 6 plus what gives me 9? 6 plus what gives me 9? 3. Right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 400 plus what would give me 600? 200. Okay, so the number should be 236 plus 454. Let's see, 6 plus 4 is 10, regroup. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1 more is 9. 4 plus 2 is 600. Right here, 7 plus what would give me a number that ends in 2? Well, 7 is greater than 2. So this must be something like 12. So 7 plus what would give me 12? Well, 7 plus 3 is 10, 11, 12, 5. All right, so if that's true, if 7 plus 5 is 12, then that means we had to have regrouped in the tens to get this 6. So 3, 4, 4 plus what is 6? 2. All right. And then 6 plus 2 is 8. So let's check our work. Is 7 plus 5, 12? Yeah, so we would have regrouped as 1, 10, and 2, 1s. And then um, we would have added the 10s. 3, 5, 6, 10s. So that's correct. And 600 plus 200 would be 800. So that's a reasonable answer. Okay? So that's it for... Lesson 6.5. Um, our next section is the mid-chapter checkpoint, so I think you'll do really well on that. And so until our next lesson, I will see you soon.